All right, so a lot of people are not going to like this one, but the first one on the list is going to be Meta, previously known as Facebook. Now, if you haven't heard of Facebook, first of all, consider yourself to be lucky. Second of all, it's ran by everybody's favorite CEO who's definitely a human. And, and I was human. I am human, still. Now, Facebook recently made huge moves by pivoting their entire brand into the metaverse. They basically went all in on the metaverse. Now, this is extremely surprising because Facebook is one of the biggest and most powerful companies in the world. And why would they risk what they've already achieved? Well, Mark Zuckerberg believes that, quote, the metaverse is the next evolution of social connection, where you'll be able to socialize, learn, collaborate, and play in ways that go beyond what's possible today. And Zuck believes that 1 billion people will be joining the metaverse over the next 10 years. Now, Meta, previously known as Facebook, has already invested in and in many cases bought out other companies that created products that would be really useful when it comes to the metaverse. And as much as I hate to say it when I was doing research on this, Facebook is the number one company Company that is positioned to take advantage of the metaverse and what they can do is they can pretty much use Facebook as a cash flowing business to fund their ventures into the metaverse now when they first start using the metaverse they're probably gonna lose a lot of money it's gonna be a while before the metaverse becomes a cash cow for them just like Facebook you know when they were first running Facebook they weren't really making all that much money on it and then they started doing ads and started making an absolute killing so they're essentially going to be using Facebook Facebook as their cash cow to fund their ventures into the metaverse. So they can pump billions and billions of dollars into this project, and they don't even need to necessarily take any money from outside venture capitalists. Now, when we look at Facebook's performance over the last five years, you know, obviously we had this recent market crash, but they've done very well. They're up about, you know, 25% per year. We also see that the PE ratio is 21.52. That's pretty healthy for a technology company. Now, the market cap is huge. 836 billion yahoo finance analysts believe that uh, facebook is undervalued and most of their analysts believe that right now it's either going to be a buy or a strong buy opportunity many analysts believe that facebook is going to go from 300 to 400 dollars by the end of the year some say as high as 460 dollars per share the sentiment for facebook is 96 percent uh, the average for the sector is 69%, so sentiment is very high. So yeah, Facebook uniquely positioned to take advantage of everything that's going to happen in the metaverse. When it comes to establishing the infrastructure of the metaverse, whichever companies win are going to have to pump billions and billions of dollars into it where they're not going to see their returns right away. Facebook can absolutely do this, no problem. And then on top of that, they already have an established social media platform that they can use to promote their different products. Projects. So they are without a doubt the best positioned company right now. All right, number four on the list is going to be Roblox. Now, Kathy Wood from ARK Invest, she's a very famous growth investor. She absolutely loves Roblox. However, they have not performed very well this year. So since the beginning of the year, they're actually down 38%. Now, a lot of different growth stocks have gotten absolutely destroyed this year. Of course, value stocks are doing much better than growth stocks. So even when you zoom out to one year, they're down 11%. And even when you go to Max, because the company came out in March of 2021, they are down uh, about 12%. So they're actually lower than what they were when they first came out. So I was definitely not a fan of buying into this one right around here. I looked into it and I thought it was overvalued. At this point, I think Roblox is going to be a better investment though. So I wouldn't go all in on this one by any means. Definitely don't do that. I would start maybe dollar cost averaging in at this point. And Roblox is basically a video game platform that is really well positioned to become one of the main platforms within the metaverse. And metaverse gaming, uh, gaming cryptocurrency is going to be huge. They've also got a lot of institutional backing. They've got about 50 million daily users. Now, what makes Roblox really interesting and different from other video game platforms is it actually lets video game users create their own games. And it goes beyond gaming. For instance, Lil Nas X hosted a virtual 
concert that over 30 million people attended. So kind of in the same way that YouTube made it possible for people to create content and make money from it, or Amazon made it possible for people to list products and make money from it. Of course, YouTube and Amazon also make money when they do that. Roblox is trying to position themselves as a platform where people can create video games, make money from them, and then Roblox makes money as well. This, in my opinion, is a very smart move when it comes to business. Now, the analysts seem to think that this one is kind of a weak buy opportunity. And to be fair to them, it is such a new company that it's really hard to evaluate. They don't even have a lot of numbers out yet. But over the last seven days or so, the sentiment has kind of changed on Roblox. So it's about 75% bullish, 25% bearish. And again, this might be a good one to dollar cost average into. But of course, that is not financial advice. The next company on the list, number three, is going to be NVIDIA. Now, NVIDIA over the last five years or so has come to absolutely dominate the GPU marketplace. GPU stands for Graphics Processing Unit. And GPUs have become even more important with the onset of cryptocurrency. So when crypto first came out, almost all of them were what's known as proof of work, which basically means you have to mine cryptocurrency in order to validate the transactions. The two biggest cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin and Ethereum, are still proof of work and they need to be mined. And Nvidia showed that they were the absolute best when it comes to creating GPUs. Now, another thing that's going to require incredibly powerful GPUs is the metaverse. And Nvidia showed that that with cryptocurrency, they can rapidly adjust to the new needs of the market. And they have made it very clear that they are going to position themselves to take advantage of everything happening in the metaverse. Now, when it comes to the first month or so of the year, Nvidia is down about 24%. A lot of growth stocks took big time hits. But if you zoom out a little bit to one year, they're up 75%. And if you zoom out to five years, they're up 710%. So yeah, NVIDIA has done very well and they are positioning themselves to be a huge player in the metaverse. Now, the PE ratio for this company is 69, which means that it could be overvalued. It also could mean that the company is going to grow a ridiculous amount in the near future. Now, I was a little bit hesitant uh, to buy uh, back at this point when it was kind of around here. I thought that it might be a little bit overvalued there back around November and December. However, at this point, I do think it's a good opportunity to start dollar cost averaging in. Analysts seem to have this one as a buy, so a lot of analysts agree. So there's a good chance that this one could go up to about 357, but again, wouldn't go all in on any one of these. I would invest a small part of your portfolio into it and then dollar cost average in. The next one on the list, number two, is going to be Unity Software. Now, this is another very new company, um, just came out in September of 2020. Year to date, uh, it is down about 29%, just like many different growth stocks. You zoom out about one year, they're still down about 37%. And if you go to the maximum amount from when it first came out, it's up about 42% in the last two years. So Unity recently bought Weta Digital. And this is the company that Peter Jackson used to create Lord of the Rings, or at least the art and photorealistic look of Lord of the Rings. It was also used to create Planet of the Apes as well as Avatar. And if you look at these three movies, it's kind of an experience where it looks real, even though you know it's not real so it has a very specific aesthetic look to it that is pretty attractive and this is basically the look that they're trying to go for in their version of the metaverse now they are also investing heavily into platform-based entrepreneurship where artists basically create the art that goes into the metaverse because they know they're not going to be able to create it all on their own and so they are going to share the profits with entrepreneurs and artists again in a very similar way that youtube or amazon positions their business so unity is is another really well positioned company. They're very forward thinking. They're well positioned to take advantage of the cryptocurrency side of the metaverse as well as the NFT side. Now, when it comes to the analysts, always interesting to see what they're saying. Um, they have it as a 1.8, so it's in between a buy and a strong buy. Usually, I'm actually a little wary when they all have it as a strong buy. That usually means that it's kind of topped out. So if you looked at this, you know, like a month or two ago, they probably would have had it as a strong buy and that would have been bad. That's just been my experience with Yahoo Finance anyways. Right now it's at $97. And when it comes to the forecast, they have it going up to about $180 in the next year or so with a high of 190 and a low of 162. So they are very, very bullish on Unity. This is another one where, in my opinion, it might be a good time to start dollar cost averaging in.
Now, the next one is for people who want to diversify a little bit more. They don't necessarily want to do their own research. They just want to invest in the metaverse. And this is going to be the Round Hill Ball Metaverse ETF. So if you're not familiar, an ETF is very similar to an index fund where basically they are automatically going to invest in a multitude of different companies for you. Now, in this particular case, all of these companies are metaverse related. So the truth is nobody really knows for sure which companies are going to win and which companies are going to lose. So if you want to reduce the risk but also potentially reduce your reward and also diversify a little bit into different companies that are positioning themselves to be big players in the metaverse then this would be a good choice for you now if you're a beginner the easiest way to buy into these would be using my link for webull down in the description below where you can get two free stocks worth up to several thousand dollars um, but if you are more advanced you can use something like vanguard or fidelity or something along those lines now this etf has only been available since uh, about june June of 2021 so about seven months or so and at this point it is actually down from when it first came out the reason for this of course is because many of the stocks they invest in are growth stocks and they are currently down because the market just crashed but this is a good way to have exposure to the metaverse without taking as much risk and I think this would be another one for you to dollar cost average into. So some of the exposure you're going to have here is infrastructure companies like Cloudflare and NVIDIA. We just talked about NVIDIA. Basically companies that are creating the hardware that is going to power the metaverse. They also invest into different gaming engines that are responsible for the creation of virtual worlds like Roblox or Unity. And they're also investing into the content and commerce side with companies like Tencent, C, and Snap. Now, many would argue to have full exposure to the metaverse. Not only do you want to invest in the companies that are going to power the metaverse, but on top of that, you also want to invest into blockchain, cryptocurrency, and tokens. So although this does give you a lot of exposure, that would be the next step. 